Okay, today on um, Skype we were talking a lot about rotators and the use of ro rotators in click magic. And I spent a lot of time on this yesterday, almost all day, and I created a lot of rotators and pop ups and um, links, but um, just really ended up using three of them. So what I'm going to do is go over the process. And the first thing we do is go, we're going to set up a rotator. And then we're going to set up our links. And then we're going to set up the pop-ups. And um, then I'll show you how all of this works uh, in order here. So first thing we do is log in to Click Magic. And it sort of keeps everything in your cache memory so you don't have to log in it's automatic so it's really cool like that so here we go manage rotators we're going to go there first and um, i've got one rotator which i call rotator link one which is seems kind of appropriate right and so i'm going to click on that just to show you a little bit about how that is set up and if you need to create another link you can just create a, or a new rotator. You can create another one. And you can see right here on this in rotator link one, I have three URLs. So what I originally set up was two uh, Empower Network URLs and one to Purium Health Products. So uh, that's another product I'm doing. So. So let's go in and look at this. Now, you come in here, rotator name. So you create your rotator name. I call mine rotator link one. And that becomes your link. Um, here you go. Your, your Clickmaster link has the trailer on here of uh, rotator link one, which is exactly what you called it. And we're going to cloak everything that, we go, that goes through here. And we'll set up a title page or page title. This is what we'll show in the um, on the top of the page when you click on when someone clicks on this link. It's going to say a business for you rather than showing the URL. And the backup URL. This is this is a pretty cool little thing. Is um, backup URL goes when nothing else works. This is the one it, it defaults to. So what I've got set up here is a um, actually a John Lavinia co-op loop to my Empower Network capture page. And the mobile URL, since that one is set up that I got from John Lavinia, is set up to work on mobile. Also, I'm using that as my mobile link. So I set that up and really I don't have any pop-ups you know I did set that up I'm not sure what what happened on that so what I've done is I've created one two three four five six seven eight pop-ups and so what I want to happen here on this one is I want this one to go from my John Lavinia co-op page to my C4C page, click for cash page. So, and that's the way I named these. I, I tried to make it uh, something that I could understand. Uh, the videos that come with Clickmaster are superb videos, but they're a little bit general in the fact that he's using test one, test two. And I kind of like to name things uh, something that means to me, something to me. So this is my the Jerry Upchurch John Lavinia Co-op 1 and the Co-op 1 capture page to my clicks for cash URL. So that's what this, this pop-up is. And that's, that's the way that was set up. And another cool thing here is geo-targeting is uh, only countries listed below. And I, I chose the countries in Tier 1 countries, which are set up to be English-speaking. Australia, Canada, New Zealand, United States, United Kingdom. And I think the United Kingdom speaks English. I, uh, 
sometimes I can understand what they're saying. Just kidding, Keith. Didn't mean that. Okay, once we get to that point, we edit rotator, which means we're saving what we've done there. So the last first thing you do is go in and set the rotator up. Then you go into your URLs, and I'll show that I already have three URLs. So the first one is, let's say that this is the one we started working on, Jerry Up Church, John and Vinny uh, Co-op 1. So I'm going to click on that. When you click on it, it comes up, and it's actually called, this is the link that the rotator is going to go to. So it's my co-op, John Lavinia co-op capture page, and this is the link to that capture page. And so I'll put that in, the, in there at the URL, and I've also set this to active right here. And down at the bottom, I don't pay any attention to the maximum number of clicks. There's a lot of things you can do there, but the pop-up, I named the pop-up the same thing as um, what I was telling you a while ago. It's the John Lavinia Co-op to clicks for cash. So when someone clicks on my, um, or they decide not to click on my capture page from the John Lavinia Co-op, then it'll automatically click them over to the clicks for cash uh, URL. So that's the way I set that up. And I didn't use a magic bar or anything like that. And I just, that's, that was the number one setup. And uh, my first link rotator URL set up there. So um, it was really simple doing that. So, and then I went ahead and set up uh, two more. One was the Almost a Secret page, which is the page that... Uh, Empower Network defaults too, so I thought I would use that to see what it is. I named it Almost a Secret, and I used that particular capture page, which is one provided by uh, Empower Network. Set this one to active. I didn't use any of these special things here. And gosh, for some reason, this is wrong again, but um, here I had already set up one Almost a Secret to C4C. Almost a Secret to C4C. So you see how I named those things so I could understand what I was doing. And then I didn't use any of this other stuff, so I saved this. Okay. Gosh, I'm glad I'm going through here to do this. I um, had made some mistakes last night. Maybe that's why it wasn't working properly. Okay. So now I'm going into my third URL. So I've set up two of them already with the Empower Network. Now I've got one for Purium. Called it Purium Sales. On Purium Sales, I, that's what I named it. This is my link to my Purium Sales Capture page. Uh, here I have a gift card, $50 gift card. Anybody that wants to sign on to that, they get a $50 gift card if they sign, sign up. So... Uh, and here, oh my goodness, this, um, yeah, Purium Sales, oh, this isn't right. Okay, my Purium Sales is actually my gift card, my gift card URL to my Clicks for Cash. That's what I want to hear. Gosh, all three of them were set up wrong. I'm glad I did this. So here I'm going for my gift card, capture page, to my click for cash. Edit that, save it, and that's it for setting up the rotators. You can um, then go and you need to set up your links that you're going to use. And like I said, I spent a lot of time on this yesterday and I set up a lot of links that I never really um, activated. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going for this first one is the link almost a secret to clicks for cash. So that's that's the one I've, I've um, set up first in my rotator. And it shows that it's cloaked, that it does have a pop-up, and it does have geo-targeting. So I'll go down and just show you how what this looks like. The link name again is almost 
a secret to clicks for cash and that becomes the link the primary URL for this is my uh, clicks for cash URL so this is where I'm going when somebody opts out of this particular link the link is cloaked c4c title page almost a secret to c4c that's the pop-up so that you notice I'm keeping the names sort of uh, organized so I can tell exactly where I'm going this is my almost a secret to clicks for cash then uh, only the countries that speak English and then what I did here is I put the one uh, the URL for almost a secret in the backup URL and the mobile URL because if this goes out to countries that are not English speaking countries like it goes to the other countries it will automatically default to the backup URL and if in those countries they click on a mobile URL then uh, they get this link so everything will work on a mobile device and even in countries that don't speak English this is still going to work there because I've put the mobile in and I've also put the backup URL there so click that to make sure it's saved just the way it was and then in this particular case I'm showing you here I'm only having three links because that's the only three that I'm working with so we finished the first one was which was called the almost a secret to clicks for cash then my second one is my John Lavinia to clicks for cash so I look at that I click on it come down the page a little bit and just double check everything it's the John Lavinia like I said the name of it it's the John Lavinia co-op one to clicks for cash and that becomes the link I put the since I'm going to clicks for cash I put my primary URL as my clicks for cash this is the link that I will get paid or 15 cents on it is cloaked my title is click for cash page my pop-up is the John Lavinia clicks for cash and I've got that set up to go and Again, it goes to all countries. I'm using my um, John Lavinia capture page as my default URL to countries that don't speak English because it works there too, and the businesses over there too. And I use the same one in my in my mobile URL. So I save this again. So that's my second one, and my third one was my. Um, what I call the gift card okay what's wrong gift card to clicks for cash so that was my third link name gift card to clicks for cash that's what I called it right there that becomes your tracking link the primary URL that I'm going to here is the um, on the on the exit is to um, my uh, click for cash link it is being cloaked it does have a pop-up called gift card to click for cash then uh, we'll go down to choose the countries again I've got the same setup with all the countries and uh, on this particular one I went back to a default URL for all the countries that don't speak English to my John Lavinia co-op page here because I wanted to capture page there since those that business is in all the countries and the Purium is only in English speaking countries right now so I wanted to uh, make sure I only got presented the Purium plan to the English speaking countries so if it's not an English speaking country it will go into the uh, Empower Network page okay so we finished all of that so now we'll go over to the pop-ups so we'll create three pop-ups we've created three rotators three links and I'm creating three pop-ups now and again the first pop-up is going to be almost a secret to click for cash so you can click on that and you can see that it's active the name of it is almost a secret to click for cash 
I set it at 1200 and 1200 pixel because I wanted it to fill up the page and I set it to go off on exit and I put 60 minutes in the timer. I think Jeremy said 60 minutes is, is perfect here. And the URL that I'm popping up to is the uh, Clicks for Cash URL. So I've done that and now I'm not going to save it because I didn't make any changes. We'll go down here. The second one I set up was the John Lavinia one to the uh, Clicks for Cash. Notice the name of it's the same, 1200 by 1200. I want it to be a full page. And um, on exit, and then we're going to the Clicks for Cash link. I'm not going to save it because it, um, I didn't change it. Okay, so the third one that I set up was gift cards to Clicks for Cash. You look at that, and it's same setup. Gift cards to click for cash, 1200, 1200 on exit, 60 minute on that. We're going to the clicks for cash link, and we're not going to save it because I didn't do anything to it. So that's the three. So if we go in here and look, you'll see that the ones that, um, let me click it. I'm going to save it just so we get everything compressed again. And uh, here we go. You notice that I've only got the three active. I, I have uh, the, almost a secret. It's active. Gift card to click for cash. It's active. John Lavinia loop to click for cash. It's active. Now I got to tell you, I spent so much time on this yesterday because I created double pop-ups. I created the almost a secret to um, the video page, the sales page, almost a secret to the sales page pop-up, and then I created one from the sales page to the clicks for cash, and then I created one from gift card to Purium sales, and then I created one from Purium sales to click for cash, and it got a little bit too confusing on my first um, day of working with that, so I took all of those out or deactivated and, and just made those three active. So so that's basically the setup on how to get these uh, rotators. Uh, set up the rotator first, set up the links second, set up the pop-ups third, and that pretty well completes the process. So um, we're at uh, 17 minutes and 53 seconds now, so we'll stop it right here and post it. Good night, everyone. It is 1.22 a.m.